He is a real police informant that they send this sucker in here to do. Yes, yes, I, I know. I, I already, I, when I saw that they arrested him, and he's the only one in the whole black crew that had cocaine. Show did. <laughs> Everybody else get arrested, but he the only one. Now he the mule for for Diddy. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. One on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. So uh, going back to the P Diddy stuff, right? Yeah, that's what I was about to um, ask about. I, what I, P Diddy? Why y'all picking on P Diddy? No, but that's the thing I'm trying to fi- figure out is I'm not picking on P Diddy, but no, he definitely with the, being no, picked no. Up. I'm not picking on people. Well, yo, you brought him but up. But I'm bringing him up because I'm trying to figure out, as far as long as Peter had been doing what he's been doing, as in like in the entertainment industry, creating stars and doing, you know, his movement and throwing these parties, having a lot of friends in the industry, why a lot of these friends are not standing up or stepping up and you saying, shit. And, hey. and In slavery time, when Master came and hung one nigga, then other niggas didn't go put their neck in the noose, did they? It ain't changed. It's just modern slavery. These uh, normally it's always the wife or the, the the family member who would jump up and try to you know stop it. No, they wasn't. That sound Sometimes. good. That sound good in roots, but in real life that didn't happen. Let me ask you this. I was gonna ask about Diddy too. I was really saying Biggie's uh, mother. You told yeah. me that that she said she wanted to slap Diddy now. And, and after seeing, after allegedly, seeing, yeah, after seeing that video, after seeing the video, because Cassie. before she was just like she couldn't believe it. And you yeah, know, but once so she forth. seen it, she believed it. Like so now she want to slap him. She said so, she seems she sl- she want to slap him, and then her ass gonna go to jail. So she she can slap somebody, but he can't make it make sense. She ain't. She is not beating him up like that. She gonna give she him gonna one slap. She gonna slap him. High That's star, different. For, for uh, the, a girl, they she allegedly she was gonna slap year me, and she woman. gave me a two piece and knocked me the hell out. I ain't hell no. I want to ask you. I, I want to keep it on that Diddy. I want. I mean, you and uh, uh, you see Gene. Gene is still. He's campaigning every day. He got a new video out every day. Gene Deal reveals Diddy's drug mule was a confidential informant. The white guy. That mm-hmm. Did you? Did you? Hear that as well? No, I knew that when I saw that crocker. You, what made you think that? What is a twenty-four-year-old white boy doing around you unless he's a setup? The man don't look that bright. He is a real police informant that they send this sucker in here to do. Yes, yes, I, I know. I, I already I, when I saw that they arrested him, and he's the only one in the whole black crew that had cocaine. Show did. <laughs> Everybody else get arrested, but he the only one. Now he the mule for for Diddy, and this. Bitch ass nigga Gene Deal, he got spoiled grapes. No, yeah, I knew that. How you know you ain't been around him in years? Where he get the information from? He worked with the police too. Oh, he is the police, ain't he? Gene Deal. Huh. Yeah, I remember you said y'all ran up on him when what well, was seen. Yeah, him. He was up against that wall like he like he was a fly on it. And Puffy jumped over the rail and went to the limousine. Wow. You got to understand, man, uh, all of the stories that 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 Gene actually talks about, uh, he always uh, talk about Diddy, Diddy this, Diddy that. He was around and seen a lot of these these things happen uh, or dealt with a lot of the. Dealings. And he did. He, he was around and he didn't have enough intellect being a big bodyguard, a big dummy, a stunt dummy. He mad because. He never made Diddy buy him a house. He don't have any long money out of doing all, being around him. It hurts you to be around a millionaire and see him spending all this money. And then then they fire you. Do you feel like Gene Deal is uh, right when he say Oprah and Gail and them should have spoke out for Diddy? What should, why didn't because they spoke, his friends spoke out for him? For him. That's what he said? Yeah. Did like he now, speak out for him? <laughs> <laughs> All I know, I just hear a lot of talk. You know, like I say, Gene Deal was his main guy. Now would be the time, if you really rock with him, to, to be there for him. 
Yeah, well, he wasn't rocking. Well, he ain't he ain't like Puffy since they separated. Did he? I wonder, did he get fired? I didn't know if he heard how to separate. I got to research that. He, he didn't leave on good terms because he's still, and he ain't a homeowner. He ain't riding around in a brand new bin, so he didn't leave. I I don't I don't have nothing to say about no detail that I've been on negatively. Yeah, because I got my piece. I bought my house through security. Everything I got, I got good stories about the shit I did. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Some dudes be up with these celebrities and they have sex with a couple of girls and smoke a little weed and this and that and get no, dude, promise you, yeah. Because like the cheapest, cheapest detail I ever went on and I left him um, was with um, Black Ground Records. Um What's his name? Um, who's the owner of Black Ground Records? Um, we'll talk about that again some other time. If you own a if you own a detail, and you see uh, Diddy or whoever anybody slap their mama, Gene Deal talks about uh, Diddy slapping his own mama. Okay. Um, What's your reaction in that? Shit, shit, his mama ain't paying me. He is. <laughs> shit, <laughs> slap. What the fuck you want to slap? You just go. You just go chill. You gonna sit back? Ain't my. I I, I would tell you something. But I, <laughs> <laughs> he knows something. He knows something. He knows something. He's holding it back. He's holding it back. I can't, I can't put it out like that. But I I, I had to tell her. Hey. <laughs> I'm with Team Tyson, homie. I don't, I don't know whatever you're going through. <laughs> let, me, let me ask you this. Do you feel like, because uh, he also says that uh, um, Diddy should, uh, um, Biggie's mom should sue Diddy for for lying. He lied to her, you know, when it comes down to her son and, uh, you know, all the stuff that mm -hmm. was going on with Bad Boy. Uh, he says that now, but when the stuff was actually taking place. He didn't place, say the word. He was over there with him. Yeah, spoiled grapes. Now you want to see here, he should have done this because he, he held back on this. Well, you held back on shit too because you was there when, when Biggie got killed. And you knew Greg Keaton was there. You knew the police was there. And when you identified the person that did the shooting, you said it was a little peanut head, looked like a Muslim. And they said it was Omar Muhammad. Then uh, after Poochie get killed, Everybody said it was Poochie Poochie looked like a little pit bull. Been wearing a beard ever since. So they had lined him up. So you was part of the setup too. Wow. It's it, it's a lot of stuff going on with them tapes, man. So, you know, uh you, you see a lot of people trying to figure out ways not to be a part of it. I think that's why a lot of time they quiet. They don't nobody wanna be seen right now. Huh. Talking about you know. what happened when they was over there. So people Nobody falling went. back, people yeah. falling back. The fallback Every, game series. Everybody's scared. Nervous if something you know else going to come out. Yeah. You know? Wow. So, like, I'm just saying, me and Shahid, me and Captain Shahid Muhammad was there. And y'all yeah. seen y'all seen a lot of this stuff going Seen on. a lot of it. That's why, I, and I, I love the fact that, that, that when you guys was dealing with stuff, you you did you didn't come back and expose different things uh, about what was going on on those secret details or whatever they had going on a lot of times in a negative way because you was there to do a job. Well, I ain't a party to your party. <laughs> whatever you doing uh, with the Nation of Islam, we don't smoke, we don't drink around you, we don't you don't even eat around you. When you're doing a detail, you doing your job. And we stay doing our job. So if you go by, I'm not going to sit in a room with you and five women. That's, yeah. that's your thing. Whatever you do on the other side, I said, I just happened, I was assigned to go on the other side of the door when I partake and this saw what was going on with, with B. Brown and Vivica Fox, right? Yeah. So it was just, and I didn't disturb it. You know, and I didn't take no pictures. Now today, I'm saying I should have took some. Yeah. <laughs> so no, uh, there's a it, it, there's a whole different dynamic. That's just like going back to your boy Charlie. Charlie, uh, he he made a statement a couple of weeks ago talking about uh, 
Trump in talking about government. And he says the problem is that everybody has a nation that comes to America. Everybody has a nation. The Chinese have a nation that they can go to and that the Negroes, we ain't got a nation. Yes, we do, but y'all don't follow it. The nation of Islam. So no matter what your dynamics are or whoever you believe in, if you have a better program, let's follow your program. If you don't, fall in line. Wow. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.